to talk to theater artists, to talk to playwrights, to talk to filmmakers and directors and screenwriters. And it's just a great way for you guys to get resources on crews and cities and places you've shot and things, ideas you have. And it's all sort of a, an idea in a couple of our heads right now. But I really welcome comments. A couple of you have talked about ways to get in touch with each other. And we're building that online community now. So. Look for emails from me. If you haven't been getting emails from me, pick up some matchboxes here. It has a website that we're collecting information. If you haven't heard from us in a while, it probably means you've changed your email address. And yeah. I don't have updated, updated <laughs> info. Sweet. So keep in touch with me. You can always get to me at posse at sundance.org. I want to connect you guys. I want to stay in touch. So welcome. I'm psyched you guys are here. And oh, sorry. I'm Virginia Pierce. I don't think I said that. Um, portion of this is to encourage you to uh, <coughs> the part of the posse that um, that's going to protect your film, uh, which is to say that I run the UCLA, the collection, uh, Sundance collection at UCLA, is what we call it actually. Uh, and uh, what it is, is it's a film preservation program that Sundance started about 10 years ago in an effort to, um, to basically keep and preserve the films that you make or that have any attachment whatsoever to the institute, whether they've gone through the labs, the composing program, whether they've screened at the festival, whatever it is, feature or short, if it has something to do with Sundance, the collection wants to preserve it. And what that means is that we have a relationship with the UCLA Film and Television Archive, which is one of the two or three major archives in this country. It has amazing facilities. In fact, it's moving into, a, over the next few years, into a new uh, state-of-the-art, just-being-built facility up in Santa Clarita or something like that. Um, and the purpose of this is to keep your, that print, that 35 millimeter print, the one that's sitting in your closet, that's starting to sound more like, uh, smell more like vinegar, mm -hmm. not good for the print. Um, or the digital master. Some people think that because you have a digital master, you're safe, it's going to never go away. That's not really the case. So what we want is for you to be interested in this. I put these uh, brochures all the way around the room. They tell you what the program is. Um, they tell you how to get a hold of me. They tell you uh, what we do. We basically take your print and uh, it's, it's put off into the archive and it's properly preserved. Um, so this will tell you more about it. I have one other thing. I have a little, oops, where did I put it? Um, we made these cool shirts that I love. <laughs> they weren't my idea, but I wish they were. Uh, 